How's it going everyone? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of an itchy scalp and dandruff. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate um, the support, it helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Billenberg999. So itchy scalp and dandruff, they go kind of hand in hand. Usually if you have dandruff, your scalp will be dry or it'll be flaky. And a lot of times it will be itchy too. So these kind of go hand in hand. Now, the main thing that you want to do, in my opinion, is try your best not to scratch. Now, everyone's going to say, yeah, easier said than done. And I know what you mean, because I've had this before. It gets super, super itchy. A simple trick I'm going to tell you is instead of scratching with your nails like this, get your fingertips like this and then just rub. Now, what this does is by rubbing, you still get rid of the itch, right? But by not going like this with your fingernails, when you use your fingernails, you damage that scalp because your scratching damages it. When you use your fingers, there's no damage. Now, why does that matter? If you damage your scalp more, it becomes more itchy. That's the thing. So the harder you scratch, the more and more itchy it's going to become. And what happens too is that you'll get more and more dandruff and more and more dry skin, flaky skin. So it's really just a reaction. Like you keep scratching harder and harder, you're just gonna get more of it. So try not to scratch. And if you do, just use your fingers like this and just rub the area. Very simple to do. Um, Keto Consola, Keto Consola shampoo, extremely important. I use this all the time and it does get rid of dandruff. It helps with itchy scalps. So that's very important. Um, limit the chemicals and the fragrances that you use in your hair. This includes shampoo, conditioner, any hair gels. Um, basically, the, the easiest way to tell if there's lots of um, fragrances, um, lots of chemicals inside of the product Aside from actually looking at the ingredients, I don't even know if shampoo that has ingredients. I think it does. The simplest way of knowing is how much it smells. If it has a very nice smell to it, then it probably has lots of chemicals in it. So uh, uh, the shampoo that I use really doesn't have much of a smell at all. That's because it's an all natural shampoo. So very, very low amount of chemicals in it and it works very nice. So I would just look, there are shampoos that you can get that are literally designed for dandruff. Like they will literally say on the bottle for dandruff or for itchy scalp. So pick one of those out, change your shampoo though. If you have itchy scalp, if you have dandruff, you need to, sh uh, you need to change your shampoo. So end of video, thank you so much for watching.